Hey there everybody and welcome to another swag tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to set up a an Adobe After Effects render engine render farm. Uh, you're going to need obviously Adobe After Effects CS3 or later, some spare PCs or Macs, uh, you can even have Macs and PCs in the same render engine, however for this specific tutorial we're going to be working only with Windows 7 PCs. Don't forget, you also need to have all of your computers networked via a router. In order to do this, make sure you have your Ethernet cable plugged into your PC and into your router. With 10100 preferably or larger, so uh, 100 megabit or gigabit would be nice. Uh, of course, you run into a ceiling or a limitation the slower your router is, the less effectiveness your render engine will, the less effective your render engine will be, you know, relatively. If you have 50 PCs on a 10100 switch, you're not going to get as fast as if you had 50 PCs on a 10100 1000 switch. Just how it is. All right. So you're going to need those things. You're also going to need the files, obviously. You're going to need to create a few folders. And without any further ado, let's begin. So. To begin with, you have to have your current composition, right, that you're going to be using. And I mean, right now what I've got is some very large 2K footage, right, that would take forever for this computer, which is a laptop, to run or render. Uh, it's very large, it's going down to 1080p. Now what you're going to do first is go to your composition and hit add to render queue. Okay, now here's where you go. Multi-machine settings under output module. Render settings goes to multi-machine settings also. We're not done though. We need to go into the output modules specific thing and select what our output is going to be. Photoshop, PNG, Pict, or OpenEXR. I like using PNGs. Uh, it's really a matter, of, a matter of personal preference. Just letting you know though, Photoshop sequences cannot be put back together by anything other than an Adobe program, usually and it won't render audio, in case you didn't see that there. Uh, when you render this, it's going to render an image sequence, not a video. The thing about the image sequence, though, is that you can perform a whole bunch of special effects and overlays, and then add the audio layer in a program like Adobe Premiere, which is, again, going to be a different tutorial. Now we have to select where we want this to output. Now, right now, it's just going to the watch folder that I created earlier, and I'll tell you guys about that later. But uh, I'm actually going to have it create a new folder, name it uh, output, throw it inside of output, and just name it render farm tutorial is fine, and then save. So now we have our output, and we are done as far as After Effects is concerned on this, except we need to go here one last step to collect files. This is probably the most important bit. Yes, save your project. Now, here is what's actually going to be doing uh, the important part. What this is going to do is it's going to copy all the files that you had over here and down here in your actual uh, composition that you're using into a, a singular folder that your other computers on the network can access. So if you don't have the room to copy this file kind of thing, either find a different uh, base computer, get a new hard drive, whatever you're going to do, make sure you have enough room for all the computer, or all the files rather. Right? And here I just threw in 99 because I'm absurd. Uh, so collect, tell it to collect into your watch folder, and this is an important thing, it has to go into the watch folder. Save. Now it's going to copy uh, something around a gig and a half of video, which is a grand total of like a minute or less. So you can tell 2K is actually quite large. Um, we'll come back when it's done. All right, now that all your files have been collected, uh, what you need to do is 
on other computers, and of course we only have one computer here, so for the sake of simplicity and recording, we are just going to do it all on this computer. You're going to want to set up something called a mapped network drive. Now in order to do this, you go to your computer. So you go to my computer, you right click computer and you hit map network drive. This is probably one of the most important bits. Name it whatever you want, okay, and you're going to need to do this on every single computer that you're going to be mapping this to. Uh, what this does is in effect, it makes whatever folder you're mapping appear as a hard drive or a folder on the computer that you're using. So here I'll browse, users, public, and public documents, and I'm going to map watch folder. Alright, so I've mapped my watch folder, here it is, to drive letter A, and you can have A through Z excluding all the ones that you already have used, so C obviously and finish. What you're going to see happen is that on your computer under network location you're going to see watch folder stuck in it lap etc. Uh, you're going to see the folder that you just mapped. Oh, this is on all the other computers that you're doing. You're going to have to obviously go into your network and it's, it's roughly the same thing. Okay, so now that we've mapped it what we want to do is we want to open up the Adobe After Effects render engine. It's way down there. All right, so what the render engine is, it's basically a headless version of Adobe After Effects. It's what it is. It has no UI beyond the actual render queue. And that's all it's really supposed to be. It's something you can install on a whole bunch of computers with one license. You don't even really need the license. I mean, you keep it on you, obviously. You're probably going to need to enter it. But you don't really need the license as far as like, oh, I'm having an entire different version of After Effects installed. It's just the render engine. Alright, now that you've got Adobe After Effects render engine open, what you're going to need to do is go over here to File and select Watch Folder. Now, you remember that folder that I told you guys to map earlier? Well, now you've got it. There you go. Watch Folder. So, Actorial Folder? No, just keep it in the Watch Folder. Alright. So what it's going to do now is it's going to look for any projects that have stuff, and here we go, it's going to look for any projects that have stuff in their render queue, right? And it's going to start rendering frame by frame all of the things that are in your uh, watch folder and just select it to the base watch folder. Everything else goes into its own subfolders. Um, and there you have it. You have set up, at least software-wise, your render farm to work on any PC. And of course after this what you can do is you can take any PC that you set up as the watch folder and you tell that the watch folder is here um, and you can just throw it in a closet. You're done. Uh, whenever you throw a new file from your main computer that's hooked up to all of your slave PCs, uh, your slave PCs will see that file and you don't even have to have your main computer on. You can, in fact, turn half of the other ones off, and they'll just, you know, be happily off while the other ones are chugging along. And if you have uh, After Effects Render Engine set up in the Start Up menu for all the other computers, it means that they'll turn on and then launch After Effects Render Engine, and it will look for this folder. And it'll look for anything to do in this folder. So, you know, you can turn them on and off at will, really, and they'll just sort of kick in and start looking for this kind of stuff. Um, you may need to mess with some scripts in order for it to look for this kind of thing, unfortunately, but, and here's the other thing, is that it's not really that hard to do. I mean, a little bit of coding here and there, and you're done. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to set up a render engine, and remember, you can use, you can use any number of computers that you need, uh, up to a maximum of, as you saw, 99, and of course I don't think you'll ever need 99 computers unless you're rendering some massive, you know, 52 day long 4K file of Transformers or something, right? Um, so anyway though, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and thank you very much. Adios.